Hello guys, on this chapter we will see how to make this main door on the wall using the material selection and some booleans operation For better performance in my machine I will turn down the roof tiles and my uh, windows on the faces so, this is the node tree so far. It is very important, very important to know that in all the tree there is no part except this where the original geometry uh, is used. So be very careful with that because uh, you can duplicate geometry and that will be very heavy for your machine. So this part is very important. I'm deleting the geometry with this material that is setting this special window that I made. This window is going inwards the wall. So uh, if you don't delete it, these faces it will be in front of the window. All the other windows or balconies are going outside the wall. So there is no problem with that. I will show you. I mute this node, the windows are in position, but this balcony in is located. First of all, I will explain you how this works. When I assign the main door material to the this space, for example, there is a Boolean operation happening on this space. And uh, makes the the hole in the wall and we spawn in the middle a grid to make the, the door the metal door so with that in mind uh, i can show you first of all we can create this and don't connect but we will use it later and using the original geometry, we capture the attribute, the normal attribute of each face. Later, we convert the mesh to points. All the geometry is converted mesh to points. And with the selection, the brick wall main door. That is this material that I'm using here, here. And here. This mesh to point is going to intent some point. And now, what are we using here? In this case, we are using a cube subdivided to uh, make the hole in the wall. And why a cube and not a, a custom mesh? Because if you use the mesh, it doesn't work. I don't know why, but uh, I have my mesh as here. Show you. This is the mesh for the boolean and I can use it. I don't know why, but it's better to use the uh, primitive on the on the nodes. So using a cube, in this case I use this measure, but you can adapt it to your own uh, necessity. Using a subdivide for the round shape and I'm transforming to move it up and down. Now I'm very laggy, but you can see. Oops, that's negative. So you can see how 
is working there. Using the normal attribute that we captured before, I'm using the align Euler to vector x using x and plugging in the rotation of the instance on point. So in every wall there is a cube subdivided doing the Boolean operation. I set up this material, my brick wall material type that I'm using every one. I'm not sure now why I use the same day. Okay, seem it's not necessary. I don't know. I don't remember why I so I set the material brick wall in this case to keep the same thing. And why I set it set up this here because of this necessary to have a material on the instance that will make the Boolean operation. From the group input, using the geometry, activate this again. With this face deleted, I'm going to there to mesh boolean and doing on difference and fault tolerance. Yes, this is very important. The original geometry is uh, making the operation with the instance on point. Uh, I'm not expert in your notes, so sometimes this is my solution for the problems that I found in the way. So when we make the oper the Boolean operation here, we have the material assigned here, and if we later the operation we assign uh, the brick wall material. It doesn't work. So <laughs> I found this solution. So the material for the intersecting edges and no material works. Why? I don't know, but it works. And the selection in this case here is using rock almenara that is the this material from I assume that is a problem with the index of the materials and I'm not solving well but this works and if I activate and convert this selection to brick wall works and I have it here the original material so I don't know why it works but works <laughs> right here is for a decoration that you can apply if you want so using again a boolean operation using the original geometry with the with two spaces deleted and with the previous boolean operation in union using the intersecting edges and mesh I convert this to a cure and with a circle as a profile I make but what is happening there in every corner you will have that one it's very nice but also uh, use a lot of geometry look here so is processing power you can mute it at the beginning and when you will do a render you can activate it. it's a very easy and very nice uh, form to hide a little bit the, the door not to hide but to decorate so I will turn off and now 
this upper node are making the hole. Oops, a flying building. From here. Um these lower nodes are doing the metal door for this with the original geometry again I am capturing the vector I think also that I can the same that before but no why I don't know it should be the same but I think for the operations with blender that are operating backward it's better to have it uh, separated now I remember that I think also is a book this is a book uh, a back sorry but uh, I don't know so again geometry capture attribute we capture the normal and again mesh two points brick wall main door and here I think is new for the new version of Blender I will delay because this node I made it on the 3.4 or 3.3 .3, and now I'm working on 3.5 after uh, mesh two points, instance on points, and I spawned uh, the this grid. Wait, you can tweak here the values and increase or decrease the amount of of uh, metal <laughs> of bars in the metal door using the capture attribute aligned to vector. And in this case, I use the rotating, the rotate Euler vector. I know. I don't know where it goes, but if you use it, <laughs> it, it will work. Because here I'm rotating 90 degrees, I will... Here is the door, as you can see, it's a grid, um, with this rotate Euler node, we rotate in the Y axis, 90 degrees, and it's occupy our, our space. Door so I can go and raise it, not necessary. Instance on point, we spawn the grid until here is only a grid, but we convert to a cube. Recording and using notes is so laggy. So uh, I convert to uh, here the grid, and in this case, I'm using a quadrilateral because it's less expensive to, to process than a circle. Because it's, if we make a render from this distance, it's not necessary to have a full rounded. And now this is very important. This is the original position of the instance, but I can translate the instance a bit inside the wall. In this case, I use these values, but you can use your own. Very important to check the local space.
because it's using the space of, of this grid and no and no the, the coordinates of the original mesh. Let's change smooth. You can see this is the quadrilateral grid. And this node is very strange because you can mute it and it will work. I don't know, but sometimes blenders do strange things. And I set this material iron. So this is the complete node. I will activate this. To create a Boolean operation, in this case on a wall, to create a door. But you can adapt this to everything that you want. Sorry guys for this very late video, but I was very uh, busy with, with work and new things on my life. So I hope you like it and see you soon.